Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of the Battle for Astrakhazi. So we are with the Dragon's Rejects today. It seems the Eastern Warlords have decided that they're going to be moving more units to the front. So we're pushing further into their territory. Uh, we detected a unit that's moving towards the front and that's where we're, we're uh, heading over there to take them out. Alright, so we're just going to move forward up here. Looks like they're coming along this main road here. We're just going to head along and hopefully ambush them before they get too far. Now I don't know... I think probably the best bet is to get them as they come up over this ridge here. Try to limit their ability to shoot at us and maximize our ability to shoot at them. On it. So we're going to get them into a little uh, shooting frenzy here. So it looks like a hunchback. It sure is. Could be a Kronos though. Three vehicles back there. Alright. Um, let's get our MRMs up here. Affirmative. Let's get... Oof. Let's get... Oh, we got a guy over here. Looks like a locust or a flea or something. Let's not get to where he can see us. Let's move into here. On my way. And we'll move the wolfhound up to here. Roger that. Lopolis, you don't need to go very far. I'm going to just stand you right in this road. If they're going to come, they're going to come at us or going to do anything, they got to get through you. Let's get you behind these guys. Roger that. With the AC-20. And we're going to move you up here. Coordinates get into a position that you can pull out and strike. All right, let's see what happens here. So that's a fire bee, a clint. That's the that's a hunchback. That is a flea. So that could be it. Well, they got a support lance, so we're looking at at least twelve here, and maybe reinforcements yeah. once we take out the primary group. That hunchback move already? You know what? I'm going to reserve. I'm going to let them have first crack at this turn. We'll reserve back to about 10, I think. Just to see what we're up against. Okay, he's got mortars. Not mortars, but uh, grenade launchers, quote unquote. The poor man's mortar. Yes, Commander. What do you think? He can finish this guy off for me? Get an early game kill, perhaps? Order confirmed. Yeah, maybe not. We'll just unload on him, though. He's put himself in a position to get to be an early game kill, so we're going to take that. We shall take it. Good to go. Um... You know what, Rusty? Just hang on. Just hang on. Who else do we have here? Right here. Right here. Let's get over here. This thing's loaded down with rockets now. It's going to be devastating close at point blank range to a uh, heavy unit, that's for sure. Although that uh, pulse laser has been amazingly accurate for us. Even with mediocre chance to hit. Okay, the hunchback's finally moving. I'm listening. Yeah, you know we're here. Yep. It's got to be terrifying for a unit to be going up against somebody that they, they know is yet to be defeated. And it's just basically murdered anyone that's come up against them. But, of course, now that I said that, we're probably going to get destroyed. Yep. <laughs> They'll just destroy us. Uh... Do I want to push this yet? Don't think so. Don't think we need to. Let's just reserve. We got Artie to drop into 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 play here anyway, so. Ready for orders. Back you you back again, eh? All right, let's get in. Let's go over here. No target. My ADD is causing me problems again, and I'll just go after this guy. Can't afford to wait. 
I'll drive myself insane before they get here. Wait, is that another hunchback? Okay. So as I was saying in the last episode, entertaining the the uh, the idea of uh, bringing another lance into play, most likely we'll have a hunchback as the main main um, max. So any hunchback parts we get, uh, we'll just get rid of them. I hear you. We'll just sell them off. Twenty percent, man. That's pretty damn. Thirty percent. So we're better, definitely better indirect. 50% on the Clint. Oh, we're not going to say no to that. Enjoy it, buddy. Enjoy. What do we got left? Oh, yeah. What do you need? It's taking us all to kill this, uh... This little flea over here. Uh... I'll save the incendiary for the vehicles, just fire. Okay, I'm on it. Still didn't even get his leg. Guy probably feels invincible at this point. He's going before us, so we'll see what he does. See how invincible he feels when he's got six guys staring right at him. I'd be going behind here. He's got the right idea, though. Now, he didn't... Yeah, he sprinted, so he doesn't have his stability back. What's up, boss? What do you think, Rusty? You want to chase him? Let's Hi. try it. If we keep shooting at him, maybe he'll keep running. That's uh, better than last time. On. Eh. Damn it. That's fine. You're doing well. Standing by. Try to get a shot in this Clint here. Maybe we try and take him down early. He's got the pot. Well. That's probably a better idea, though. He's got the pirate AC5, and I want it. Uh, let's go after this guy. The main group is still not in our optimal firing range, so we'll just wait for them just to appear, and then we'll go back up on the hill. They're not doing anything yet, either, so... Commander! Uh-huh. Maybe we get lucky and finish this guy up. There goes his leg. Torso. Come on, buddy. Bail out. You are small, so... wonder if he's like... wonder if he's like... What's it called? Um, Ready for order. If he's got lost tech gear in there or not. Let's get rid of him so he's not so annoying. All this for frickin' flea, man. Lockdown. Come on, leg. There you go. I'm interested to know, though, down. if you take a mech out like that, and you destroy its leg, and then it blows the torso and the center torso up, if you lose everything, ow. Somebody's got a silver bullet goss. Fire B. You stay back there, man. Has he got mortars? I guess he does. It's a lot of fire. It's okay. Damage is light. It's a lot of fire. What can I do for you? Clint is 13 now, huh? 22, 15, 17 in the bulldog. Tiger 17. J 
Chance to hit certainly dropped. Tell me what to shoot. Don't necessarily have to go with the best chance to hit. I'm going after the Clint simply because he's damaged. Orders. Uh, let's get you here. Roger that. You're really only going to get one or two shots on these guys before they uh, decide to focus you down. So let's make them count. Yeah. Okay. Let's get to here. I don't know what version of the Hunchback this is, but... Alright, that's interesting. Wow, we hit this guy like three times or something? I'll take it. Can we... We can't jump anywhere. Why do I still hang on to that shit? It's back up here. I'm going to switch this uh, to overload for this turn. I don't know if they're going to be using missiles on us, but if they are, he's not hot anyway, so at least he'll be... Uh, well, we can see that guy from here. At least he'll be ready in case they do decide to shoot missiles at us. Uh... Nice. I left the rest of the stuff off because I figured with that many chances most likely we'll shoot our own guy in the back, so. That AC-5 should be able to reach that range. These guys are definitely not, um... They're definitely not, uh... Pushing us in any kind of way. They got no inkling of trying to run the, run the uh, gambit on us here. They could push us. There we go. There we go. Fuck you, Fire B. 25 hit. 25 and 25 hit. Yep. There you go. Made it worthwhile. You want to push? That guy's got a silver bullet guy, so he's going to use it on us. You know what? Let's um, let's hold on for a minute. Waiting for the right move. A mad dog, really, really. Aye aye. Is that that is that is that a clan mad dog? Mad dog's a clan mech, right? Yeah, let's go against the guy that we've hit already. So, next week's episodes, we're going to push to getting more units in the battlefield. This is a uh, two and a half skull mission. I want to feel confident of being able to do that. Um, I've also discovered during the week that even even the easiest of cl that you think are easiest of clan missions, like if you take try and take a one skull base defense mission, um, or sorry, a half skull base defense mission against the clans, it's they're just it's ridiculous. Like the amount of stuff that they've that they that they have that they throw at you is just ridiculous. Let's get them into point blank range here. Okay. Going full throttle. Incendiary ammo. Fifty six percent. We'll take it. Good. Nice. Yes. Finally landed in a few shots. Oh, hits her LRM. How many do we get? Eight. That's not bad. We'll take the eight. What do you need? Can we? I want to stay away from that silver bullet goss. Let's get in the trees any well, not gonna be able to stay away from it. But we'll be able to get in the trees at least I get little bit of protection from that. Now, do we want to finish this guy off, or... 
I think we go out after this guy. Yeah, I think so. We got plenty of other guys that can soften or uh, finish these guys off now that they're softened up. Lots of damage off the front. Beautiful. I hear you. Let's keep on this Clint. Uh huh. Yeah. Finally. Yep. They're on the receiving end of the Holopolis when it's usually me. Now wait, you're damaged on the front, you're damaged on the other side. Let's get up here. Oh, you're so fast. I'm gonna go on the Hetzer LRM, I think. Because we'll... If we miss, we'll splash this guy, probably. Yeah. <laughs> that laugh. Losing armor. Yeah, sorry about that. Okay, when does Taskmaster go? Or Tiger Tail, I mean, eight. Yes, Commander. Okay, um... You take the trees this time, guy. Oh my god, it is. It's the clan Mad Dog. Looks like some clan units have showed up to try and uh, help out here. Let's uh, just hammer this guy. Didn't get what we wanted, but whatever. Right here. Mm -hmm. Ah. We'll go there. Heading out. Mm -hmm. Let's get you on this guy here, I think. Yeah, we could probably kill this guy. Ooh, heat warning, eh? Actually, let's leave the X-Pulse off, because we've already blasted through yeah, that. All we need to do is blow on this guy, and he's done. Get off. There we go. Ooh. Filling some damage over to the other guy. I'd laugh if we got a twofer for that. That'd be great. Kill for me. So, I just noticed... I'm recording this Monday morning. You guys are seeing this on Friday. But I recorded it Monday morning, and I just noticed that there's a new version of Rogue Tech out. They've done a few modif like minor modifications and a couple of other things where you can do individual drop locations for each of your guys. they got to be clustered together, but you can drop each one individually so you can have them laid out in a, in a formation as they drop. Target which is kind of cool. So they got to be within the same drop radius, but if they drop... Like, that's if you're leopard dropping. But if you're dropping by, via pod or there's no leopard drop for the, uh, for the, um, for the mission, then you can put them wherever you want on the map. So you can drop them individually so they don't all have to be in the same area. Orders. Yeah. Uh, well, you know what your orders are. This fucking guy's got to go. As much as I want parts from this, Taking he's got to go first. You shoot us, we shoot you. That's how it works. Nice. Silver bullet, Gus. Mostly missed. Mostly. They mostly come at night. Mostly. Look at the AMS working out on that one. Damage minimal. Four from sixty. That wolfhound's gonna be roasting shortly. Okay. Uh, 
That's not good. It's getting pretty hot in this cockpit here. Waiting on you, Commander. What do you think your chances of hitting this guy are? 28%? 25? That Clint's staying quiet back there, so let's just turn our gun on this guy. We'll drop some chaff on him too. Missed with the gun, but at least we got some chaff on him. Reporting minimal damage. Receiving you. How are you doing, girl? Better than I expected. Forty-three percent, thirty-seven, fifteen. Let's go with the best chance to hit. Take a shot at this tiger. Nice hit. Was it a hit? Nope. Apparently not. Skipped it on the ground underneath it. Did you? Yes. Acknowledged. I'm gonna leave it on incendiary. This guy's starting to warm up. If we can keep him nice and hot, we can work towards a shutdown, maybe. What's up, Commander? Ugh. Okay, do we want to unload on this guy and kill him in one shot? Or do we want to... I think we want to do this. Mad dogs have always been bad luck for us. If we don't go after them, we're going to be in serious trouble here. So we're going to do this. We're going to heat up like crazy for this, but... Let's let him know we know he's there. Fuck you, buddy. Have a seat. There's your biggest asset off the board. Not quite off the board, but almost. We'll be in a second. Commander. Here we go. Okay, we gotta deal with this guy. He's getting too close to uh, my back line for my uh, my likes. This should do. This should do it. I think. Yeah. A little overkill, but just gotta make sure. Move her down. What do you have? A rotary? Whatever it is, you're running nice and hot yeah. now. So is this guy. Gotta take that off. We gotta take that off overload, but we'll leave it on. My heat gauge is all red. Yep. Yeah. This guy's gotta go. Wait, who's that shooting? Took a hard hit there. 
I took it off overload. Okay. Still feel pretty confident about this one. Waiting for orders. Rusty doing her job. Let's try and plank off a headshot. Wait, how much is the leg got left in the leg? Actually, you know what? Let's try and work on the leg on this thing. Better chances to hit, and we didn't hit anything. Whatever. What can I do for you? Fire bee, eh? One shaft on the fire bee, probably. Looks like we penned a bit on the uh, the uh, Clint back there too. Yeah, fuck. Just a matter of time. Well, at least she at least she got one head in. How you feeling? How you feeling, buddy? You don't look so hot. Yep. Game over. Game over. It's the reason why you don't want to overheat. I know I mentioned this in the last episode. As long as, even if you're just a little bit over the red line, you can still shut down. You gotta roll for shutdown every turn that you're over that red line. And you shut down, it's game over, man. They're just gonna like cap, they're just gonna go right after you, you know? Moving out. As much as I wanna go after that guy, we gotta kill these guys here in our midst first. So let's just hammer this guy. Target's taking a critical hit. Sure has. I'm listening. Target's not having a good day. Okay, we should be able to fire a couple things. Pulse lasers. Fire an animal. Ooh, five hits. See ya. Target destroyed. Nice. Heat's finally dropped. What do you need? I need you to Roger. take this fucking guy's head clean off. Want to go for the leg shot? He's got pirate ATM nines, medium heavy laser lasers. We're not going to take his head off, but we got good chances to hit his legs. Our AC's down though, but that's fine. Confirmed. Or we could just blow him up, that works too. That one's gone. Receiving you. Get on this fire bee. Kind of shocked those machine guns haven't jammed yet. I got them cranked way up. Oh, I wonder if he's got the same AC as I got. That's all you got. Receiving you. Let's get in the trees. This Clint standing around not doing nothing's bothering me. Let's see if we can take him out. Well, we hit the fire bee too. <laughs> Primitive critical. Oh, wait, was it this guy or the guy in the back? This guy. Okay. I thought we hit the fire bee and he was panicking. AMS working overtime. That's all right. 
Our AC should you. be back into uh, service in a second. What's up, buddy? I don't know where the round landed. Middle of next week, maybe. Yeah, you need to get out of there now. That shot went internal. Yep, I saw it. Enemy flanking. Light damage. Holding firm. Okay, Taskmaster on 19. Rusty on 20. So we can get Rusty out of there unless she's in trouble. I don't know what the hell this Clint's doing. Oh, he's finally shooting. Okay. Yeah, overheating me. I'm heating up good. And he's heating up real good too. Where are you, Rusty? Oh, what's up, boss? Hardcore, you know the score. You should be able to finish this convoy off this turn. I don't know, the closer he gets, the more damage he seems to do. Yep. Doesn't seem like that's a very good thing for me. So let's move to where he can't see us. Beekeeper! You need to behave! This guy's been pissing me off, so let's take care of this guy if we can. Yeah. On my way. Back it up. What can we use? Three pulse lasers? Yep, we'll go ahead and do that. I don't know how much armor this guy's got. He's only got 60 on the side. Let's go that way. Soften him up, we'll back the trebuchet up, and that should finish it. Hey, I'm losing armor over here. Yeah, you're overheating over there too. Receiving you. Position confirmed. Now I know we're going through the fire, but we gotta get out of line of sight of those guys over there. Uh, let's just leave off the ER medium, I think. We'll drop a little bit of heat. And unload the rest on this guy. Got there you go. That's what I'm talking about. Target neutralized. I think he was running an XL. Waiting on you, Commander. Well, the Clint deserves a good, another good shot. Yeah. <laughs> so worth it. Should have run when you had the chance. You got that right. Aye aye. Oh, for kind of crying out loud. Commander. Right. There. Moving to position. Dump a load on this guy. Nice. Oh, we ain't going anywhere. Finish these guys off and then we can uh, keep moving along. We'll get some supplies up here, get refit. Add some armor back on because I think we're going to need it. Minor damage. Those hunchbacks are... Uh, yes, Commander. Entering into a world of hurt, it looks like. They decided to shut himself down. Can we get a shot at him? We can. Roger that. Go after his legs. How are we doing for heat? Let's leave two medium lasers off, get a little bit of heat back. Our clustering's good, so if we hit the leg, we should dump everything into the leg. I think we got his armor, his torso, though. At least it looked that way. I'm ready for orders. You've done your job, just park it back here for now. Those two guys are a little bit much for you, I think. Waiting for orders. We need to get another vehicle that's going to uh, really complement our uh, 
fighting style here. So we've got damage on our right side. So let's move into the trees, turn our left side to the enemy. Oh, we did hit the leg on this guy. Okay. Put all the weapons on and fire. Sure, spread it around, whatever. Just shoot everywhere, whatever. Critical hit, Commander. Yeah, but... Yeah? Yeah, whatever. Not in the spot we wanted it to be in. We got CT hits here, so let's get our left side facing the enemy. Since our AC is on the right. Couldn't hit the leg, eh? Standard ammo. He's super hot. He's not going to be coming out of there anytime soon. Oh, he's got the AC-20, Mydrin. That's why he's doing more damage. I'm taking the shot. Goes the arm. Oh, the other arm. Oh, yeah. A leg. Have a seat, buddy. Come on, bail out. You know you want to. No, apparently he doesn't. Yeah. Apparently he's like, nah, good. It's all good. We're going to move up. We're going to drop some heat. So we can come in and alpha strike next turn. Put this back on. We still got ice house I here. Hear Let's see if we can convince this guy that fighting should be a thing he shouldn't be doing at this point. Oh, he's going to take it, but he ain't going to like it. Alright, that was a good miss. He lined us up nicely, though. That spread damage could, really, could have gotten both of us, but it didn't. We got lucky there, I think. Okay, I'm on it. Think you can finish that other, this hunchy off? Can we get his other leg? How much does he need? 60, eh? Yeah, I... Leg, 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 leg. Fuck's sake. Enemy down. Yeah, but leg, leg. Commander. What part of leg did you miss? Yep. Okay, this guy's this hunchy's running hot too, so if we can just Taskmaster goes before him, so we're gonna go in there, we're gonna hit him with the uh incendiary ammo. Really bake his noodle. Let's just um Open up on him. Here you go. Start applying a little pressure, see if we can get him panicked. Nope. Nope. Uh, orders? Just hold there, Rusty. It's not crucial that you be here for this. Heading out. That guy got pissed when you were up here and he decided to target you, he could kill you, so let's not let that happen. All right, cranking the heat up a little Awaiting more. Orders. We'll go. This guy's tough. He doesn't want to leave. Let's just hit him. All the lasers hit. Good chunk of the missiles. Come on, buddy, bail. Scored a critical hit. Kill this goss ammo. Waiting on you, commander. Unstable. Gonna chaff this just in case he gets a chance to fire. Time to die. Ow. Shh. Land right where my guys are. Ah! Do they think they can hurt me? No, but our team can. Oh, he still had Goss ammo. Fuck. This is going from bad to worse. Well, bad to worse for him. Ice House, let's not shoot anymore. Reporting. How does that sound? We just not shoot. We can just pretend like you shot, pretend like you did some good damage, and we'll leave it at that. Alright, that was mostly leg. What do you need? At least the ghost ammo ghost. Goss ammo will not explode. Going back to standard ammo, he's not sinking that anytime soon. Badass. 
Have a seat, buddy. Panicking. We'll drop another health point. Bail. Beautiful. There it is, folks. Mission successful. So that was a good fight. That was the two and a half skuller, so. Two and a half skull ambush convoy. Yeah, I know the fire starter took in da internal damage. We got, oh, well, it's not so bad. Just the engine got hit. We can get that fixed in no time. And everybody else, well, except for the heads here, of course. Damn it. Okay. Heads are, I, I, I saw heads are, I thought, oh no, we lose the vehicle. I should take the three hunchback parts. Now, I know I said I was going to scrap those, and sell them, but I wonder if we should Pirate Mad Dog, I don't know. FB is the flying, that's the Silver Bullet one, and this is the, which one is this? The H, that's the, yeah, that's the, the Mirdrin, uh one. Gonna do that. Take those three. I'm gonna leave the Mad Dog pieces alone. Pirate LRMs. AC2s. Endo. Engine Pirate. Right, that's you gotta activate that. Run, jump. 20 heat per turn when active. 10% failure. Yeah, I don't know. 240. Cores, missile range, which we already have. Ferro, ultralight gyro, that's a, well, plus 20% stability damage taken. I like to stay away from those things. We got three Ferro, so we don't need any Ferro. Patchwork materials, 0.2 tons. Prototype double heat sinks. We don't have a prototype double heat sink kit, but that would be worth it if we could. Powered sensors, these are actually pretty good. Uh,. Tactic support B. We don't really see these very often. Warfare suite, LRM LK, dead fire, tandem ammo, improved, MRM. Uh, Ultra AC2 ammo. You know what? We don't see the tactics. We don't see this very often, so I'm going to grab it. Um, 240 core? We've got one. Which is the pirate engine worth? That's not bad. We could take that for the C bills. We probably should because it's we're, we're at the end of the month, so we have to pay for our uh Yeah, financial report, and we're a little bit behind. There is the Ultra Twos though. Oh man. Well, let's hope we get something good in the roll here. I think this is probably a good choice. Full Clint. Which we really don't care about. Because we've got one. Alright, let's go this route. Well, you know what? I should stick to my guns. I know I said the hunchback parts are going to go to possibly a third unit if we do it. And I've already shipped four parts over there. I know this is stupid, but I'm going to get rid of those. I'm going to stick to my guns. That's what I said I was going to do. I don't think we have any Bulldog parts. A pair of Ultra 2s. That would be nice, though. As a fire support vehicle. We, I would replace the Hetzer with this in a, in a breath, like in a heartbeat. Um... Tiger T12 as well. Okay, come on. Shit or get off the pot. Uh, Pirate ER laser. Pirate ATM 9s. Now these have a jam chance mitigated by guttery. So wait, it's a 5% jam chance. Recoil of 2. I don't think that's going to give us any more benefit than what we already have. I mean, we could put the, well, no. 
I was going to say we can put them on the um, trebuchet, but I would rather go with an MRM 40 than an ATM uh, 18. Improved fire control system. I bulk recorded a lot of these episodes, so I still haven't gone through and figured out what we need. This isn't bad either, right? But it's 10% weapon heat generated. Let's grab it, and then maybe a double heat sink. I think we go this route. Well, powered sensors too, though. We're not going to use this right away, but we will use the powered sensors, so let's grab those. We will use those right away, I think. Although, you know what? We're getting good sensory data and good vision on everybody right now. So let's go ahead and... I'm waffling again. I shouldn't be waffling. Come on. Should I get off the pot here? Let's take it. Let's do this. All right, flea part, Hetzer part, Mad Dog part, that's nice. Scorpion, two Scorpion laser parts, but this guy's only got two mediums and a machine gun. Although it would be an upgrade to the uh, Galleon, I think. Tiger part, machine guns can go. That can go. I'll hang on, well, no, I'm going to get rid of the small cockpit. I'll hang on to that. We can use it if we need it. Get rid of that, get rid of that. Fire control system improved. We'll hold on to it for now. Patchwork materials, structure can go. Warfare suite, we already have one of these? We don't. So, with a one shield, it reduces enemies' shield within one within 150 meters. Two tons. Let's hold on to it for now. LRM double. Improved ammo, which is awesome. And then we got backup ammo. SRM tandem, we'll hold on to. All right, so that's not too bad. You know, I've been finding it easier to find the right balance with this lance than I have with the night guns. And I don't know why that is. I know the clans are kind of like the, the mechs are lighter mechs compared to these guys. But there's just something... I don't know. I, I can't put my finger on it yet. Why the right balance is, is having a hard time being met. And it could be something in the background of the engine in the game. I don't know what it is, but I've been... This has been the right balance, I think. So that was that was a lot, that mission was a two and a half skull. So it wasn't so bad. So we're going to be passing our financial report. Um, we got a little bit of repairs to enact here. We'll find just needs to get repaired here real quick, and then we'll be back into play again. So I'm going to work towards getting another unit um, into play, and I think for this playthrough, it'll probably be end up being another mech. Because I want to get the, the uh, Lancelot up and running here. We don't have the sea bills for it just yet, but we're getting pretty darn close to it. Um, but if we go to engineering real quick, and I'll show you what we're up against right now. So right now we're at 666,000. So another one of these is going to add, you know, 10,000 more, which isn't very much, but it is like, you know, 570,000. So, I don't know. Oh, I still haven't got these yet. Really? I seriously haven't got these yet. What was I thinking? Not that it matters, but... Well, we got to work on these two, so... I've been getting better sea bills with this playthrough than I have been with the Night Gods, so hopefully we can get more sea bills into play and get going. Uh, but I'm going to end this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. And exactly before we leave, I should go and check out, because I was interested to see if we had any bulldog parts. Oh, we do. Oh, my God, we do. Okay. Machine gun, large laser, SRM4. This is the one with the two Ultra 2s. Two AC2s. Taking this guy. I don't know why I forgot to do that. That mech is ready to fight, Commander. Look at the armor on this thing. This thing's great. It's going to be slow, but it's a replacement for the Hetzer. Awesome. Okay. Well, there's a major upgrade. So let's go to. Uh, oops. Let's go ahead and pull out. Well, did we pull out the galleon. I think so. 
I think we pull the galleon out. How much is it adding to? It's adding 11,000. So that's nothing. I'll, I'll leave the galleon in for now. But we're going to need another vehicle pilot and another mech pilot because while we're, well, before we do that, we're going to have to get another, uh, we'll have to get the beta pod because we've, we've got seven pilots now. We can only get one more, right? We can only hire one more. So we'll get a, hopefully a mech and vehicle pilot because we got mech and vehicle pilots right now. Uh, Tiger Tail and Rusty piloting the uh, vehicles. So I'll do the same thing probably. Or we'll just look for a good vehicle. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe a good vehicle pilot. But we'll find out what we can find. Alright, but I'm going to end the episode here guys. Once again, until next time, we'll see you later.